Okay, so we have one last grammar point left for chapter 19. Let's take a look. Kuji ni au yakusoku da kara mou sugu kuru hazu desu. So, ima kuji desu ne. Kuji ni au yakusoku da kara mou sugu kuru hazu desu. So, we made a promise to meet at 9 o'clock. Mou sugu kuru hazu desu. 今日は休みだから花子さんは暇なはずです。今日は休みだから花子さんは暇なはずです。あのレストランはいつも混んでいるから美味しいはずです。あのレストランはいつも混んでいるから美味しいはずです。雪がたくさん降ったから今日も学校が休みのはずです。雪がたくさん降ったから今日も学校が休みのはずです。so, our new grammar point we will look at is hazu desu. Hazu wa, eh, an assumption that you make based on some sort of reliable information or knowledge. Eh, so you have this knowledge that you're pretty sure about and you make an assumption that you are pretty strong about, you're pretty sure about. So, what we studied before, the kamoshiremasen, this is when, I mean, you're like 50-50 on something. To omuimasu. You think it is more likely to happen than not, but it, it still might not happen. Hazu desu is like you are 99% sure. You are, this is the most strong one without being completely sure. So, for example, kuji ni au yakusoku da kara, because we promised to meet at 9, mou sugu kuru hazu desu. They should come soon. Um, so we see this translated as should. Um, it's not something that you're hoping for, per se. It's, it's something that you are quite sure will happen. So a lot of the time this gets translated as should. It's not should in like the moral sense, like you should, you know, be nice to people. It's should as in like, that's, that's my assumption. Um, so, 今日は休みだから暇なはずです。Because it's a day off, they should be free. いつも混んでいるから美味しいはずです。Because it's always crowded, it should be delicious. The restaurant should be. 雪がたくさん降ったから休みのはずです。because it snowed a lot, it should be a day off at school. So, eto, we use this with a short form plus hazu desu. So for verbs, that means the dictionary form, the nai form, ta form, nakata form. For um, nouns and not adjectives, instead of da, uh, for a noun, we're going to put no. And for a na adjective, we're gonna put na. So, hima na hazu desu. Yasumi no hazu desu. Um, verbs and e adjectives, we can just put them how they are, right next to hazu desu. But na adjectives, we need na. Nouns, we need no. Cause this hazu is technically a noun. So, it works the same way as like if we had hito there. Let's take a look a little bit more at this hazu. Testo wa kantan na hazu deshita ga muzukashikatta desu. Testo wa kantan na hazu deshita ga muzukashikatta desu. Ichiji ni tomodachi no iye ni tsuku hazu deshita ga michi ni 迷ってしまいました. 
一時に友達のうちに着くはずでしたが、道に迷ってしまいました。So, this has is telling us about something that we are like 99% sure will happen. It's our very strong assumption of what will happen.、Uh, but you know what they say about assumptions?、Um, so we are not necessarily always correct when we make an assumption with hazu. And that is when we can use hazu deshita. So hazu deshita is when we make an assumption. We made an assumption in the past, but instead we got like a contrasting result. So, test は簡単なはずでしたが、難しかったです。The test was supposed to be easy, but it was hard. 一時に友達の家に着くはずでしたが、道に迷ってしまいました。I was supposed to get to my friend's house at one o'clock, but I got lost. So, using the はずでした、With a contrasting part at the end, we can show、um, a situation where our, where what we assumed did not come true.